Hey everyone, Aiden here. I am so sorry that it has taken me so long to produce another video, but now that I am no longer working, it's going to be much easier to get that done. So today I want to review Superman the Animated Series. This is a show that originally aired in 1996 and ended 20 years ago. So this is an older show, but I love it. This is my introduction to Superman actually. In um, 2002 I was three years old and um, that is when I was introduced to comics and this little bad boy, the Batman Superman movie as it was marketed and you know called on the box, was my introduction to Superman. It was a compilation of a three-part episode from the second season of this show where Superman meets Batman. It's called World's Finest, which is a callback to a specific comic book title called called World's Finest, which ran from 1941 to uh, 1985. So it's an older uh, series. It's mainly Superman and Batman team-ups, and then later on they had it as a Superman teaming up with other people, then back to Superman and Batman. So it's a complicated history, but then again, when are comic books not a complicated history, am I right? Pound it. So this particular show was a very, very interesting show because it was more like the modern comics at the time. So it had Superman being more grounded and focusing more on Clark Kent as a character. But there are times, you know, there are, you know, several episodes where Clark Kent isn't even in his, you know, regular clothes. He's just in his Superman suit, you know, doing something. You know, like uh, saving a, you know, group of children or fighting a bad guy, whatever. Saving a distant galaxy from, uh, you know, alien threats. But, um... The actor who plays Superman in this, Tim Daly is his name, he is a phenomenal actor who does a great job as Superman. I really loved his performance and the other actors are also well, you know, well casted in their roles. So Dana Delaney plays Lois Lane and she is mwah, perfect as Lois Lane. She just has that dry wit and that feistiness and you know, she sounds very sultry. I like that in my Lois Lane. And uh, Clancy Brown, who plays Lex Luthor. Mwah. Mr. Krabs becoming Lex Luthor. It just works. Because they both love money. And uh, this was, you know, the more modern take on Luthor, where he's a corrupt businessman. But then, in later in the expanded universe in Justice League he becomes more of the classic mad scientist Luthor and I love both versions I think that Brown does a great job at portraying both versions of Luthor to me he's just the default voice for Lex Luthor and for uh, Tim Daly I'd say he's like my more modern Superman the actor who plays uh, the character in the Justice League show because Daly couldn't do uh, the role again because of a contract with another television show. I'm not really sure what one it was. But uh, George Newborn, Newburn, excuse me, who plays him in the Justice League show is more like my 50s and 60s Superman voice. So there's a little bit of a difference but they sound very similar and I like that. And they both have great performances that they bring to the character. So Going into the animation itself, it is more of a 1950s, you know, 1940s look and with, you know, Art Deco style computers and televisions, so, and the 1980s style cell phones, so it's like Batman where it mixes different, you know, styles and technologies, but um, I think it works because Superman is so timeless, you can place him in any environment in any time period and he'll work. So, you know, it works in the 1930s Great Depression, World War II, you know, space exploration of the 50s and 60s, you know, more civil rights in the 60s and 70s, and then, you know, post-punk, you know, sort of thing. So, 
I think that this works, and I really enjoy the cast, as I had said. The, I just can't get over the acting and the writing on this show. It's just amazing how they pluck different elements of Superman's history from the 30s, 40s, all the way to that time, you know, 90s and 2000s. And they make it work so well with their different animation style than you would normally get. You know, and that's thanks to Batman because they tried the neo-noir style with that. And the Art Deco style just blends into that universe. You can see how Gotham City and Metropolis are two different worlds, so to speak. And can we just talk about Gilbert Grot Gottfried as Mr. Mixie Spitlick? That just cracks me up. He is such a funny actor. He's got a great voice, especially for that character. And I just love the series all around. I would definitely, definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to get into Superman. And, you know, my older brother, he doesn't like Superman as much as I do. And I say, you know, borrow my box out. You know, watch the show. He's only seen this DVD. And, you know, he likes that, but, you know, he doesn't really like Superman as, you know, much as I'd like him to. But, you know, if you're watching this, you should watch this show, Coleman. You'll enjoy it. And you too would enjoy it, dear viewer, if you would pick it up and watch it. And if you have already seen it, I would recommend rewatching it because, you know, you might pick up on things that you haven't before. So... If you enjoyed this video, then please consider clicking the like button. And if you are new to my channel, then I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. And please leave a comment telling me your thoughts on the show if you've seen it, and uh, on your thoughts on Superman in general. And please, you know, don't hesitate to give me any feedback and suggestions for other videos. We should start doing that because I'm running out of ideas here, people. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And stay safe. Don't get the virus. I don't want you guys to be sick. I appreciate you. And have a great night. Bye.